I saw that all the psychologists were afraid of Jung. All the academic psychologists were afraid. And I was just telling Russ this. Um, a colleague of mine taught a course this term on psychology and philosophy. And he used an article of mine in his course on philosophy and Jung and the unconscious. And he had me give a, a guest, sort of teach a guest class. Mm -hmm. And my two children are in this class. <laughs> <laughs> and he forgot some papers or something and had to go back to his office. So I just started asking the students, what are they studying? And about half were studying psychology. Hmm. <clears throat> and I said, well, how are your classes in psychology of the unconscious going? And they'll look at me. What unconscious? I said, <laughs> I said you mean you, don't, you can't study psychology of the unconscious at a major university? Mm -hmm. And they said, well, I said, well, how about Jung? And someone raises their hand, do you mean Jung? We, we studied Jung in personality theory along with Freud, Rank, um, and I said, I'm just playing with you. I said, you can't go to any major or minor college or university in the United States and study the psychology of the unconscious in an academic setting. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. It. You, have to, you have to read or, or go to someone like mm -hmm. Robert who has this lineage with the people that were connected with the originators of this. And I, I approach it from a psych philosophical standpoint. I say psychologists can't deal, strange as it may seem, with paradox. Academic psychologists can't deal with paradox. How can you give examples? Or how can you give examples? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you should tell Bert about the exam you took. Oh. Oh. <laughs> fellow at San Diego State College. I don't know him well. He does a whole course in my book, We. So he came to talk to me. He thought he'd better... He failed the exam right in his own book. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm guessing the conclusion. You failed the exam in your own book. I did. Yeah. <laughs> How did that happen, Robert? Well, Easy. They didn't understand the book. Well, well... I took the exam. He pushed me into it. I failed the thing just completely. <laughs> it was a masterpiece of ambiguity, the exam. Hmm. Well, what I, what I, my, my rap, as it were, mm -hmm. is that psychologists are scientists. Or what? Scientists. And scientists want to observe things. Right. That's why they have their white coats, they want their laboratories. And so it doesn't make any sense to them a psychology of the unconscious because what observes is consciousness. Mm -hmm. And so they think it's some kind of contradiction. Mm. And so I tell these students, I say, I say, you know, now do you think that I, I began actually by talking about introvert, extrovert, complex, Freudian slip, mm. all these things that are now a part of right, language, language that everyone knows about, and saying why can't you in an why can't you go to college and learn about these concepts? We can't give exams on them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can, but you know, Freud and Jung would fail. <laughs> Jung had a seminar going halfway through. Somebody raised a hand, Dr. Jung, but it was only a half an hour ago in this very room. You were saying the opposite. <laughs> he says, Yeah, good, good lecture, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the physics is physicist or obliged to take some of the uh, apparent oppositions and paradoxes in, into play now. Niels Bohr came up with a flat statement and 
Nothing's true unless its opposite is true also. And Wolfgang Pauli? And I think it's uh, atomic physics that's going to break that down. The atomic phys physicists can't do uh, without the theory of opposites and polarities and such things. Pol polarity is the great energy producing mechanism. The notion that you have these opposites and they get their identity from, in a certain sense, what they're not but related to somehow in, in a way that can't be accounted for rationally or intellectually. It can't account for much. And I mean, at least as I read, like your inner work, that's the whole key: is is learning how to deal with that mm -hmm. opposition, True. consenting to it, for one thing. Yeah, first of all, inviting it. One of the things that, as an academic, as a thinking type, that is so strong in your books is how you handle the issue of opposites. Mm -hmm. Because as I'm sure you well know, no academic and most Americans can't deal with the issue of opposites. Mm -hmm. be because you're dealing with a structure, the psyche that predates modernity, mm -hmm. where you want to make opposites into concepts, synthesize it, and get rid of the tension or the opposition. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and of course, everything in our culture is, is designed to eradicate this. And and the sad to say, our education. True. And our national religion, Christianity. You know, there's not a shred of evidence in Christian writing or scriptures that backs up the Trinity. That's an invented thing out of 4th or 5th century AD. But the whole Christian church is, is built on the Trinitarian view. And the serpents are very busy now. Well, this is, I mean, these are interesting times. I mean, I think yeah. Jung would have really been, I think Jung would have had, what is the, the, the German word for the, the pleasure you have in someone else's uh, misfortune or discomfort? Uh, um, but I think, it, you know, what's happening with the, the, the Catholic Church? I mean, he would have said, I told you so. I mean, it's, it's just, and, and, and it's just, I mean, I'm at a Catholic university, and there's just dead silence. Dead well, when silence. that big snake uh, turned up in mass, they couldn't cope with it. Well, but it, what turns out, though, is it's, it's not like they haven't been trying to cut his head off. But they've been doing it like this, and you know, sending instead of you know dealing with the problem, they've been just yeah. shipping these priests, and it's. Okay. It becomes a business. Anybody want dessert? Uh, there are two kinds. I can make a frozen peach smoothie. Or I have ice cream a la rouge. <laughs>